Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your co-pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue this journey of learning just one bit of Chinese every day, leaping from one expression to another. Yesterday we talked about a 专家 quote unquote 专家意见 Um, so Chinese switch out the 专 character from the specialized meaning to the bricks, which carries a total different. Very questionable expertise image、um, expression in this. Okay, so we are going to continue with this jian.、Um, so yesterday we talked a little bit about the jian. It's processed scene, like your opinion piece, your externalized scene that you're going to communicate, like how you think about something, right? So here about the same, like we talked about 视而不见 So 视 is sighting, like you see it visually. You see it. 耳 is a connection, right? It can be yes or but, but in this case, we have sighted, and then we have a no, not seen. So this is a negative, right? So the meaning is kind of、mm, flipped. So that at that at that context, it becomes a but, right? Versatile word. So 视耳不见 means you see it, but not seen. <laughs> so, so there must be a difference between this 视而见 right? Because there is a distinction that it's sighted. You visually see it. It's in your eyes. Your eyes ever pass that? It's ever in your vision, so to speak. But you're not seeing it. Like you didn't see the real thing of it. Or actually, here it doesn't mean. It means like you you didn't react to it, so you know what's going on, but as I said, you didn't externalize what you see, like you didn't respond or act accordingly of what you see. So that's the full meaning. So now let's look at this two act of see. So one, okay, both of them have this right. So this is the common denominator. <laughs> Um, component are shared in both characters, and you can see in the original forms of jian, like both look the same. This came from this human figure, which is almost like a female human figure because it got curves.、Right? <laughs> okay, so it came from this stick figure, two strokes connected to mean a person. So that's the Chinese symbol of person. And here is like a, a a stylized or specially shaped person, but it's still like two legs out there. That's a person. And here is the symbol of eyes. And、um, I interpret it as okay. This is a because we don't really use a oval shape or other curvious shape anymore. So in Chinese, mostly it's re rectangle, right? So it becomes like okay, this is a space that we're looking at, and then this two,、um, two lines. In my interpretation, is that's the、um, the iris, so the black portion, your eyeball. So this is the you know the eyeball, eyeball, and then this is the white. This is a black portion. This is a white, right? So this, if you view it、uh, horizontally. It just look like the eye, so that's come comes from the image of the eyes, a person seeing. So that's specifically means a human see something, right? So if it's a human see something, you know humans also do a lot of things like think about something and speak about something, right? So that's the the, the actions related to this human see. Okay, so now we have. Another component added on top of this human C concept, this character. There are two ways of expressing it, at least like two ways of interpret how this character came to be. One is okay, there is this horizontal thing which is、uh, like a platform to carry out a ceremony of a conversation with the the dainties, the the sky, or the signs of the sky. So the three. Uh, vertical strokes. This three strokes means the three type of celestial objects, 
that you know ancient people as well modern people can see the sun the moon the stars so with those three signs from the sky right every day you're going to see them and you know some oracles in china back then would according to that tell fortune tell what's going to happen in the future so that's one type like conversation with the stars so you can get some ideas of what's going to happen and the second one is related to um related to uh speaking so this is like the air well this is kind of the fluid the air dynamic shape of the breath coming from you um when you're pronounced something and then there is obstructions um so there are two types one is like flat so like your tones are flat it's one type of pronunciation which is like there's no abstraction the air just goes out smoothly unobstructed so that's one type horizontal line express that and the bottom four <laughs> portions means okay you do have your air going out but it's blocked but of course we know as pronunciation block this part of this making sound to narrow the channel of the air right so it got different pitches a different uh, you know texture to the sound um so the blocking of the air also like a, a way another way of pronunciating that so both of them both of them mean kind of um signifying or like a reading of something or showing of something so this is either the the person who is pronouncing it is expressing something or it's the observer of the celestial movement try to forecast what's going to happen so in any case it's kind of uh, communicating right either you you know interpret it or like how you're going to interpret it um so this combined with the vision the human see simply means okay you are you see something I guess the, the night vision uh, of stargazing activity probably is better suited in this context um, of like you, you vision, you see something and probably you can tell something going to happen. So that's the site. Ooh, I spent so much time on that one. And here is just, it just means, okay, you, you see, you visually see something, but you're not reacting to it. You are not expressing your opinion about it and English oblivious probably is more suitable in this case um, and I want to <laughs> show this um, especially this portion of like forecasting fortune telling um, you know the star reading is also a common activity back then in China and uh, somebody said okay it's Chinese probably summarize the skies you know it's pretty complicated pattern showing you know every night what what how you can make sense of it so we sign it into three spheres or scopes or domains of stars and then and then um, summarize it into 28 constellations so that's Chinese way of how to view the sky and try to tell like assign different meanings right if something move here or change color there something is going to happen the whole system of fortune telling back then so that's 视而不见. cashing into the currency of thinking just by one word a day